Hello everybody, my name is Levon and I am shaking the hell out of this tripod. <laughs> I am uh, gonna pluck this bad boy today because the winds blew it out basically and I've strapped it down with these ropes. Um, it was pretty heavy winds the last week. Found it lying over, but um, it's just wilting, that's all. It's just starting to wilt away, so I'm gonna call it. Plus I have plenty of other things seating and I need the room. Uh, so I'm going to yoink this guy, and I'm going to actually harvest all these little guys. I think these are all the seeds, so bear with me, and I'll show you what the uh, end result looks like. Sorry about this video. I'm trying to shove this tripod right here next to my aquaponic system. I'll shove it in the ground. Okay, so uh, here we go. This, uh, this particular beet, I think, has been in here for two or three months. But it's, uh, it's time to go. I'm going to recycle all the uh, things that I don't use, of course. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna eventually get around to building a vermicomposter or some type of compost heap. But right now, I, I just save them in a pile and I let them compost. And I use the uh, leftover mush or whatever mulch it is, just put it in the, uh, in the front yard. One of the uh, more fun hobbies that I've had, uh, just seeing things grow. Children obviously love this kind of stuff, so getting your children involved in growing organic foods, non-GMO, non-anything, non nothing that's been manipulated. Try to get organic food, and that's getting hard to find, but uh, get your hands on some organic seeds online. I've found it very hard to find corn in its uh, organic form. And uh, it'll be a big problem for us in the future trying to find natural food to grow. But it's gonna be a big surprise once we, when we hit that hurdle and we find that out. Uh, this whole reason why I like this is because it encourages people to go organic and grow their own food and not have to depend on your local supermarket. Of course, larger scale than this, but when you put three or four beds like this together, you'll have a decent system. And that's what I eventually plan on doing. Here we go. I see why the ants have been uh, invading it because they got these little white bugs again. Uh, so I can't even cut this thing. Uh, 
Christmas tree. But it's, uh, it's very important to teach your children how to, uh, how to grow food. Uh, you think it's, uh, think it's funny here in America, but in other countries, people, this is their main worry, is whether or not their, 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 their crop is gonna, it's gonna come out that year, or if they're even gonna have anything to eat. So it's, uh, it's a hobby for me, but it's a, uh, it's a life or death for others. And this is a, uh, this is being done in Africa, obviously, I'm sure you guys that are interested in aquaponics know this is a, uh, this is also, we were planning on going to a, uh, to a country that was, uh, I don't want to say third world country, but we wanted to go basically to an orphanage and set them up with a uh, aquaponic system so that the kids can learn how to grow their own food and grow their own fish and never have to deal with hunger uh, as long as you uh, know what you're doing. And this is a very easy setup. It's very simple. I mean, it's basically it's Mother Nature scaled down into your uh, into your tanks. And as you guys can see, these are the uh, leftovers. I'm gonna save these in compost. And I'm gonna keep all these seeds though. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful plants. All right. The great unveiling is about here. Okay, Here we go. I had a serious uh, windstorm hit us about two or three days, I want to say maybe, yeah, about a week ago, and uh, heavy rains and stuff this past week, uh, it was a couple weeks ago we had the winds and this thing was lying on the side, so I tied it up and it actually uh, it worked for a bit, but now it's time to go. Alright people, here we go. The little baby is a big baby. I want to say that weighs an easy 10 pounds, maybe even 15. But that is look at that, guys. Look at that. Ah. Now we're gonna figure out how to cook it, eat it, and probably gonna juice some of it, uh, blend it, and make a smoothie or a uh, an energy drink out of it. This stuff is amazing for. Is a major boost in energy, but um, you can also do this. You don't have to go this scale. You can actually go smaller. It's just a matter of how much space you have. As you can see, the roots weren't deep in, so you only need about six inches or so to grow vegetables that have a small root base like this. But ants are about to eat me alive. So thank you guys for watching. Hundred percent organic. Look at that. Ugh. I can't even hold it to the side. Thank you for watching, guys.